Yes, so some more problems from limiting reagent. Let us say um, sulfur burns in oxygen to produce SO3 gas. Find the weight of SO3 or rather than weight, let's say find volume of SO3 at STP when 100 gram each is taken. 100 gram each means 100 gram sulfur and 100 gram oxygen. So, first you have to balance the reaction because without that you cannot proceed. So, balance it by heat and trial, no need for POAC and stuff. This will be 3 or 2, this will be 2, this will be 2. Fine. Now, we know that 2 moles react with 3 moles. 2 moles of sulfur react with 3 moles of oxygen. And the uh, or atomic weight of sulfur is 32 gram. So, 2 into 32, that is 64 grams, react with 3 into 32, that is 96 gram. So, obviously, 100 gram will react with more than 96 gram because 64 gram is only react with, reacting with 96 gram. So, 100 grams will react with even more than 96 grams. Or if you want the exact thing, it would react with 100 into 96 by 64. If you divide it by 32. So, you will get 3 to 150 gram. So, it reacts with 150 gram oxygen. But, how much gram is available? Only 100 gram. So, here, the oxygen will limit the reaction due to its shortage of being, uh, I mean, uh, due to its shortage uh, of 50 gram. That is 150 minus 100 gram. So, the limiting reagent will be oxygen over here. Okay. So, then further calculations carry on with the limiting reagent. Don't take 100 gram sulfur. And now, you have 100 gram oxygen. Okay. So, how many moles oxygen does this make? 100 gram divided by this, um, how much is the weight? 32. So, 100 by 32 moles of oxygen. Now, here, 3 moles of oxygen gives 2 moles of SO3. Alright. So, these many moles of oxygen will give how many moles of SO3? 2 by 3 into 100 by 32, isn't it? So, this would come out to be 4, 4 is 16, 25, 25 by 12 moles of SO3, right? So, the number of moles of SO3 form we have found. Now, we have to find the volume of SO3 at STP. Now, as usual, use that same old thing. 1 mole at STP is equal to 22.4 liters. So, 25 by 12 moles would be 25 by 12. You'll write is equal to as such. But just 25 by 12 into 22.4 liters, which you can calculate. Now, they don't give you such simple questions in the examination. What they'll give you? 
is or before going on to that question let us do another question like this type of question also comes 10 liter of nitrogen reacts with 5 liter of hydrogen so how many liters what is the volume of NH3 formed at STP now here you see everything is given in volume right so since all all these three are gases then we can safely say that the number of moles would be proportional to their volumes at stp right this is this is actually 10 liter at stp these all are at stps okay so 10 liter at stp reacts with 5 liter at stp to form nh3 although it does not take place at stp there we have just said that the volume which was taken was at stp and then whatever i mean uh, whatever the reaction was done was done at the reaction temperature so here 10 liter reacts with 5 liter so now we know that since all three are gases the number of moles will be proportional to the volume because one mole has 22.4 liters volume so might as well uh, i mean do the calculations in volume rather than doing in moles because the volume is directly given I mean by dividing by 22.4 you will get the number of moles so first write the ballast equation N2 plus 3H2 gives 2NH3 I think you know the balancing of this by now so here 1 mole or let us say 1 liter reacts with 3 liters isn't it volume proportional to number of moles so 10 liters will react with 30 liters but only 5 liter is available so which will be the limiting reagent hydrogen is the limiting reagent because it is only 5 liters is available and 10 liters if it wants to react it needs 30 liters which is not available so now proceed with hydrogen now here 3 liters will give you 2 liters so 5 liters will give you 2 by 3 into 5 which is 10 by 3 liters simple as that 10 by 3 liters at stp right 